Electrohydraulic Servodynamic and Static Fatigue Testing Machine Electrohydraulic Servodynamic and Static Fatigue Testing Machine Static and dynamic stretching, compress bending and other tests can be applied to the material. All materials from film to high strength aviation materials, from microelectronics to auto parts. Requirements for fatigue life performance test of components. Let's follow the experimenters into the experimental operation. 1. Test preparation stage. Enter the software operation area. Turn on the computer. Display. Controller and power switch in turn. 2. Double click the dynamic fatigue test software icon. Enter the operation interface. Click the online button of the operation interface. Connect software and controller. 3. Determine the current control mode as displacement control. And click the hold button in the software interface. Maintain the current position of the cylinder. 4. Enter oil source operation area. Turn on the oil source and turn. Oil well pump. Water cooler power switch. 5. Operate chiller panel. Click the pump start button. Start the water pump inside the water cooler. Then click the compressor button. Start the chiller compressor. So that the cooling temperature of oil source. 6. Operating the oil source panel. Click the oil pump start button. Start the oil pump. Regulate overflow valve. 7. Enter the software operation area. Click the dynamic fatigue test software operation interface. Using displacement control to move the cylinder back to the zero position. 8. Enter the host operation area. According to the sample material and specification. After replace the standard clamp lock, rotate the hydraulic fixture pressure adjustment button. Adjust the fixture to the corresponding value. 9. Turn the crossbeam locking knob until the locking mechanism is open. Rotate the crossbeam lifting knob. Raise the beam to the required height. Close the locking mechanism by tightening the locking button of the crossbeam. Lock the beam. 10. Rotate the upper clamp knob to hold the sample. After lowering the crossbeam to a proper height, rotate the knob of the lower clamp to hold it. 11. Observe the load feedback value of software operation interface. Displacement for operating test software. And adjust the displacement speed to 1 mm min to move the oil cylinder. Return the current load value to 0. 12. Click the basic test options of the operation interface. Input test parameters, including test name, control mode, mean and amplitude frequency, number of tests, etc. 13. After entering test parameters, click Save to save the parameters. 14. Click the test data saving interface. Choose how to save data. 15. Click the oscilloscope option. Adjust the waveform display mode. 16. Click the test start option to start the test. 17. Open digital table 1. Display the real-time feedback value of displacement. Load and deformation. Digital table 2 to display peak and valley values of displacement. Load and deformation. 18. When the time reaches the set number of tests, it will automatically stop the test and switch to displacement control mode. 19. After the test, using displacement control to move oil cylinder and maintain the current position by means of displacement control. 20. Enter the host operation area and remove the sample. 21. Enter oil source operation area, regulating oil source overflow valve. Return the current pressure of oil source to zero. Click the oil pump close button and close. Shut off the oil source and pump dia.